We have one more round to go. Um, so for those of you who have not um, seen a Data Hub 101 or 201 before, every once in a while, we like to make sure that folks kind of have understand the basics of Data Hub, understand some of the more advanced features of Data Hub. Um, so Paul's going to walk us through some tips for how to roll out Data Hub uh, within your organization. Yeah, thank you, Maggie. Um, uh, all, all these are these are inspired from uh, conversations we've had with the community and customers for Agile Data. So um, yeah, let's just get going. Um, so this is just five tips to uh, roll out Data Hub to your organization after you've deployed. So the first one is educate and deprecate around data catalogs. So um, this is kind of a decision tree. If you already have a data, uh, if you've never had a data catalog, um, educate about it. Uh, we have a lot of materials in the Data Hub blog that you can check out. Uh, these are some articles and we'll go ahead and share those out. Um, the uh, other thing is if you previously have a Data Hub, a uh, data catalog, uh, Create a deprecation plan. Um, forward communicate hard deadlines, stages where you'll A, stop having an API, disable the UI, uh, or fully deprecate. Um, make use of banners in that tool and Slack announcements to increase awareness. Um, and use soft and hard deadlines. Soft deadlines like redirecting to Data Hub from your old tool, and hard deadlines like actually tearing down infrastructure when the functionality has been replaced by Data Hub. Um, uh, also, you know, pair it with other onboarding techniques like enlisting champions. So you want to identify key stakeholders in your organization so that they'll be evangelists in your early rollout. Um, common personas for this include data engineers, AML, ML engineers, analysts, data stakeholders, and administrators. Um, find out what tools they work with and try to integrate them into Data Hub. Um, schedule one-on-one -on -one time with them to test, uh, educate, and do progress checks to ensure that they're getting the most from the tool. Um, get examples, aha moments, key learnings from them, and use those in quotes to broadcast to your larger audience. Help them uh, teach their teams and onboard them individually. This is sort of the flywheel of, of creating more and more people who are using Data Hub correctly in your organization. And um, uh, not everyone has this option, but uh, Etsy, for example, had a data discovery team that uh, handled all of the ingestions and custom scripting, um, which makes it really easy to create a critical mass of data within your Data Hub and make it more useful. Um, third, email campaigns and Slack channels. Establish a designated Slack or Teams channel for the rollout where you can announce things. Link the channel in relevant company and team-wide channels. Um, create a regular email campaign when you where you inform users on the state of your rollout and drive adoptions with hooks like quotes from um, your champions, uh, links to really interesting or relevant dis uh, discoveries within your Data Hub instance, um, communications on rollout or deprecations. Uh, and be sure to include any materials that are educational from our blog or our YouTube or, you know, make your own, which will help people with context within their own organization. And, uh, of course, use those quotes from power users to speak to personas and value adds. Uh, fourth, uh, create regular onboarding workshops and office hours. Make people's lives easier. Help them walk away with net new knowledge. Schedule presentations and demos during uh, learning weeks. Uh, and uh, create, uh, make sure you get on the uh, docket for internal meetups and lean on your champions to find that story that sticks with users. For example, Etsy found that that data governance conversation was really compelling, and uh, it was the per Data Hub was the perfect solution for this problem that was affecting their entire org. Um, and then make sure that you're available for troubleshooting, create office hours, and have them regularly. Once a week is a great cadence. Finally, um, establish some goalposts, uh, timelines for daily active users and, and how many users you've onboarded. Um, Document like the state of your instance at regular intervals, take snapshots so you can see how far you've come. Um, encourage governance expectations like uh, adding ownership to assets, creating glossary terms within domains, or making all of the lineage pop, uh, populated for certain tools. Um, and uh, work with your stakeholders to identify those new use cases. Uh, an example was Etsy found out that there was a great expectations deployment going on at the same time as their data hub deployment, and they were able to integrate that, and it really increased their success. Um, don't focus on too small of a use case. Uh, really try to bring in as much as you can, but, uh, and this is some common pitfalls, but at the same time, don't start with uh, uh, too little data um, and just everything you can that adds value, but don't describe anything. Uh, review those sources and make sure that you're not ingesting really poorly managed things or blank data sets so that you're not causing friction when people go in looking for their thing and can't find it or find that it's not right. And um, don't wait until the metadata is perfect. Uh, it really, Data Hub thrives when you encourage your users to take ownership and start filling in those gaps with glossary terms and, and other populated metadata. 
So that was a really quick uh, how to roll out Data Hub after you've deployed it. A really big thank you to Tim from Innovex and Juan from Etsy uh, for sharing their learnings. And I'll turn it back over to you, Maggie.